Sringeri also called Sri Kshetra Sringer is a hill town and taluk headquarters located in Chikamagaluru district in the state of Karnataka. It is the site of the first Matha established by Adi Shankara, Hindu theologian and exponent of the Advaita Vedanta philosophy. In the 8th century CE, it is located on the banks of the river Tunga. Origin of the name The name Shringeri is derived from Rishishringagiri, a nearby hill that is believed to have contained the heritage of Rishi Vibandaka and his son Rishishringa. Rishishringa appears in an episode in the Bala Kanda of the Ramayana where a story, narrated by Vasishtha, relates how he brought rains to the drought-stricken kingdom of Romapada. Legend According to legend, Adi Shankaracharya is said to have selected the site as the place to stay and teach his disciples, because when he was walking by the Tunga River, he saw a cobra with a raised hood, providing shelter from the hot sun, to a frog undergoing labor. Impressed with the place where natural enemies had gone beyond their instincts, he stayed here for twelve years. Adi Shankaracharya also established mathas in the northern at Jyotirmath, near Badrinath, eastern at Puri and western at Dwaraka quarters of India. <laughs> Geography and climate Shringeri is located at 13.42 degrees north 75.25 degrees east, 13.42, 75.25. It has an average elevation of 672 meters, 2204 feet. Topic: Demographics. As of the 2011 India census, Shringeri had a population of 36539. Males constitute 49% of the population and females 51%. Shringeri has an average literacy rate of 86.12%, higher than the national average of 74.04%, male literacy is 90.45%, and female literacy is 81.91%. In Shringeri, 8.5% of the population is under 6 years of age. <laughs> Places of interest Shringeri is home to a number of historic temples. Of these, Sri Sharadamba Temple and Sri Vidyashankara Temple are very prominent. Other historic temples nearby are Hornadu, Kalore. Topic: <laughs> Rajagopuram entrance. Construction of the 127 feet tall Rajagopuram entrance was completed in June 2014. The Grand Kumbhabhishekam inauguration was performed by Jagad Guru Shankaracharya Sri Sri Bharati Tirtha Mahaswamiji on Jaya Samvatsariya Jayishtha Shutta Dashami falling on June 8, 2014. Sharadamba Temple The Sharada Temple, dedicated to the goddess of learning and wisdom, has grown from a simple shrine dating to the time of Adi Shankaracharya. In the 14th century, Vidyaranya is said to have replaced the old sandalwood image with a stone and gold image. The temple structure itself continued to be made of wood till the early 20th century. After an unexpected fire that damaged the structure, the current structure was built in the traditional South Indian style of temple architecture. <laughs> Vidyashankara Temple The Vidyashankara temple was built in commemoration of the pontiff Vidyashankara, around 1357–58 CE. It was built by Vidyaranya, patron saint of Harihara and Bukka, the brothers who founded the Vijayanagara Empire. The niches in the temple have a number of sculptures from Hindu mythology. Inscriptions in the temple record contributions made by several Vijayanagara emperors but the temple was probably built on an earlier Hoysala site as it combines Hoysala and Vijayanagara architectural features. The temple architecture is also an exhibition of the astronomical expertise of medieval South Indian temple builders. 
The main temple hall features twelve pillars designated for the twelve signs of the zodiac. Windows and doors along the temple walls are arranged such that Equinox's sunrise views reach the deity. The northern and southern gates enable the sunrise view from the hall during solstices. The Vidyashankara temple was built in the year 1338 AD. It is a unique monument built entirely of stone combining both Hoysala Shalukya and Dravidian architectural styles. The structure stands on a high plinth and commands an extensive view from the hills and their slopes all round. It is more or less a rectangle with apishetal east-west ends. On the western side is the Garbhagriya, with Vidya Ganapati on one side and Durga on the other side of the entrance. On the other three sides of the Garbhagriya are shrines to Brahma, Vishnu and Maheshwara with their consorts. In the eastern half of the structure is a mantapa with twelve pillars, huge monoliths carrying large figures and carrying heavy projecting corbels on top. These twelve pillars are marked by the twelve signs of the zodiac in their regular order, and arranged in such a manner that the rays of the sun fall on each of them in the order of the twelve solar months. On the floor is a large circle, marked with converging lines to indicate the direction of the shadows. The central ceiling is an exquisite piece of workmanship with lotus and pecking parrots. The Vimana over the Garbhagriya rises with Shikara, Mahapama and Stupa. The rest of the roof is made up of sloping channeled slab. The basement is elaborately sculpted with animals, Puranic stories, Shiva, Vishnu, Dashavatara, Kali, Shanmika and so on. From the caves of the corners of the central hall chains of stone rings hang which is a common feature of the Vijayanagar period. To the student of Hindu iconography, this temple is a veritable storehouse of sculpture. The meditation of the Linga, Vidya Shankara Linga in the sanctum and other murtis will lead to divine realization. Vidyatirtha Rathatsava is celebrated on a grand scale during Kartika Shukla Paksha. The festival spans for seven days from Tritya to Navami. On the Saptami day His Holiness Jagadguru Bharati Tirtha Mahaswamiji performs special puja. Also the Aradhana of Sri Vidya Shankara is performed on Shasti, Saptami and Ishtama. This temple is under the care of the Archaeological Survey of India owing to its architectural marvel. Topic. Shri Parshwanath Swami Basadi Shri Parshwanath Basadi Digambar Jain Temple is situated in the heart of Sringeri town. This Basadi was built in the memory of Mari Seti whose origin goes to one Vijayanagara Shanti Shetty of Nidagodu village near Bailur. The date of construction comes to about 1150 AD. The main temple is 50 feet long and 30 feet wide. Completely built of stone it has a slooped roof. The Basadi consists of Garbhagriya, Sukhanasi, Navaranga, Mukha Mandapa and Pradakshina Patha. In the Garbhagriya, there is the idol of Sri Parshwanatha Swami presiding deity made of black stone. It is one foot high and on its base, the words Srimath Parasanathaya Namaha are inscribed. Generally a single cobra holds its hood over the Lord's head. But here, the speciality is that a pair of cobras intertwined hold their seven hoods like an umbrella. Hence this deity is known as Jodi Parshwanatha Swami. In the Sukhanasi the idol of goddess Padmavati is kept. It is about nine inches in height and is made of black stone. Besides this there are also Jina images of marble, Svatika, black stone and the bronze images of 24 Tirthankaras in the Gandakuti, as well as idols of Brahma, Saraswati, and Ganadharas. Sirimane Falls Sirimane Falls is situated at a distance of 12 km from Sringeri. Visitors can visit the place by two-wheelers and small vehicles like car, jeep and suvs. No public transport is available to Sirimane Falls. However limited number of buses from Sringeri town till Kiga are available. Kiga is located 5 km away from the falls. One can hire vehicles from Sringeri to visit Sirimane Falls. <laughs> Hanumanagundi Falls Hanumanagundi Falls also known as Suthanabi Falls is located on the way to Horanadu via Kudremak. Distance between Sringeri and the waterfalls is 36 km. Waterfalls lies inside Kudremak National Forest which is famous for Shola forests. Gangamola the birthplace of Tunga, Bhadra and Metravati rivers also lies in this region. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Temples of Guardian Deities. Sri Adi Shankara had constructed four temples on the four sides of the Sringeri village. Kala Bhairava Temple in the east Kiranjaneya Temple in the west Kalakumba Temple in the north Durgumba Temple in the south <laughs> Sri Malahanakareshwara Temple This is located at the center of the Sringeri town. Topic: <inaudible> Sringeri Sharada Pita. The Sringeri Matha is known as Sringeri Sharada Pitha. It is one of the four Hindu Advaita maths established by Adi Shankaracharya. It is also referred to as Dakshinamnaya Sringeri Sharada Pitam. Following the tradition initiated by Adi Shankaracharya, the Matha is in charge of the Yajurveda the Krishna Black Yajurveda is more prevalent in South India, over which the Matha has authority in the Smarta tradition. The head of the Matha is called Jagadguru teacher to the world and also carries the Shankaracharya name as a title. The present Sringeri Shankaracharya Sri Bharati Tirtha Swamiji has nominated Jagadguru Vidushakara Bharati Mahaswami as his successor. Rashi Stambas The twelve pillars in the Vidyashankara temple are popularly known as Rashi Stambas zodiac pillars. Symbols of the twelve divisions of the zodiac are engraved on these pillars. The temple is an architectural marvel. Among the many delicate carvings, lions that are engraved in biped positions on the pillars may be mentioned. There are stone balls inside the growling faces of the lions and they can be moved inside their mouths. It is said that the design of the pillars involved certain astronomical concepts. For example, the first rays of the rising sun fall on specific pillars with the zodiac symbol on the pillar corresponding to the position of the sun. <laughs> How to reach Sringeri can also be reached from Mangalore which is at distance of 105 km by road via Karkala. KSRTC operates AC and non-AC luxury buses from Bengaluru. Other travels like SRS and Sugama operate buses from Bengaluru. Sringeri is situated at a distance of 86 km from Chikmagalur by road. Chikmagaluru is connected to Bengaluru and other cities through road and a rail line via Kadur. It is 95 km from Shimoga which is connected to Bengaluru through bus and rail routes. Private buses are operated from Sringeri to Shimoga with good frequency. Udupi is at distance of 80 km via Hebri and Agumbe. The nearest airport is Mangalore International Airport at Mangalore. <laughs> Where to stay Sringeri is a small village but the number of accommodation options available is really astounding. The town has guest houses run by the temple administration. Visit Sringeri Mutt website for details. There are many private lodges also. <laughs> <laughs> Best time to visit Since Sringeri is situated in the Malnad region, the best time to visit is between October and March. See also Mangalore Karkala Horanadu Agumbe Chikmagalore